Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of our ISTQB cooldown. Today we are not talking about any particular tutorial on ISTQB certifications, but indeed I'm talking about the journey of being an ISTQB certified professional. Uh, quite often many people you know, keep asking me that, hey Neeraj, I'm not sure where exactly to start or I'm not sure if ISTQB test manager is the first level. If I'm very much experienced, do I really need to start with ISTQB foundation or any other level which I can take directly? And we had thousands of comments talking about this and that's where we thought we'll just create a basic tutorial which guides every individual that how exactly I can take the journey up ahead on ISTQB certifications. So today in this particular tutorial, we're going to talk about what exactly ISTQB is and what are their different certifications. And we'll be looking forward to give you the entire roadmap of how you can get certified with ISTQB foundation and furthermore with different certifications in this particular video, right? So let's look forward to the tree first of all that what exactly ISTQB has got for us and how exactly people can proceed with it. Right here, what you have is the list of all the certifications as of today, when this video is getting posted on the internet, uh, we have all these certifications for you under ISTQB. Number one thing is, of course, an individual has to start with ISTQB foundation being the most lowermost certification here. Now, lowermost in the sense like this is the first, first step towards your ISTQB certification. And most importantly, we are talking about the certifications which have some prerequisites, right? So the ISTQB foundation is being the first level, certainly doesn't have any prerequisites or any kind of qualifying criteria, like you should be a graduate, you should have some kind of experience or anything in particular. Right. So post you are done with ISTQB foundation. So all I mean is ISTQB foundation can be taken by any individual without any sort of restriction. And they can go ahead and, you know, approach for uh, their specific country member board to take up the examination and uh, apply for it, get certified. And once you have the certification with you, you can look forward to the three directions what you have here. The three directions are towards of course, Agile, number one, second is Core, and third is Specialist. So let me take other way around, Agile, Specialist, and Core. So Agile certifications, as the name suggests, it is particularly for Agile team members. If you are someone who is working in Agile industry today, which is, I think, majority of them are doing that right now. So you can look forward to get certified with Agile Tester certification, which is at foundation of Agile. And second is Agile Technical Tester, which is the advanced level of Agile, right? Now, these are not talking about Agile methodology or Scrum fundamentals. These are particularly talking about that what is your role and contribution being a tester in Agile methodology. So that guides you well exactly that what you need to do when working in Agile methodology as a tester. Following that, of course, you have another side of it, which is specialist certification. And these are specifically created for advanced uh, people who are done with foundation who are working in uh, specific domain industries, right? Domain specific industries like, hey, I'm someone who is not an ordinary tester testing websites and applications. We, our application deals with automotive. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and look forward to automotive certification, automotive tester. Similarly, hey, I'm a usability tester. So we got usability testing for you. If I'm someone like who is working on mobile applications, I have a mobile application tester for you. Similarly, I have security tester, automation tester, uh, performance tester, you know, uh, acceptance tester, game tester, and gambling industry tester. So we have targeted any sort of industries under ISTQB, which we are currently seeing in the practices today. And there are majority of people working as test engineers and we are looking forward to adding those certifications year by year to make sure that we have something to cover their recognition as well. Don't forget, ISTQB is all about giving you that recognition, being a QA that you are you know, qualified to do that particular job, right? You have the fundamental knowledge, you have the recognition towards that work, which you are practicing every single day. So this is where the specialist tree, what you have here, gets covered 
uh, with all the speciality. So again, whatever your interest is, you can go ahead and take it up further. Or if you have been already working in that industry and you want to get certified, either way, you can go ahead and take up these certifications. Remember, for agile and specialist, of course, the prerequisite following the dotted lines is the foundation level certification. So no matter what number of experience you have, no matter how many years you've been working in the industry, you will have to start with foundation, but it does not make a difference if you have already taken foundation, you can take any of the certifications at any point of time, right? So foundation is a qualifying criteria one way. And as soon as you are done with the foundation, you are open to all of the certifications on the screen right now, right? So you can go ahead and take it. And it, it does not make a difference if you got qualified with foundation level 10 years ago. As far as you have a valid certificate with you, that's all what you need to take up any further certifications of ISTQE. Now, right here in the middle, we have core segment certifications. These core segment certifications are role-based and role-based certainly talks about the people's qualification over period of years, right? So you can look forward to get certified with test analyst, technical test analyst or test manager, which is at advanced level. Of course, even these three certifications can be taken only after you're done with the foundation level, but these three can be taken in any order. But the recommended order is test analyst, technical test analyst first, and then test manager. Now, test analyst is of course for functional testers, technical test analyst is for non-functional testers, and test manager is someone who's going to lead the testing team of an organization. So this is on a very nutshell. We have tutorials for each of these playlists available on channel. So you can watch the first tutorial to get more detail of what is the syllabus, what is the exam pattern and etc. to get an idea of what this examination will be all about. Of course, beyond on top of it, you do have expert level certifications here. And these expert level certifications are mainly from an independent consultant or being a test director of the organization. These are a few things which certainly, you know, uh, require certain certifications. So if you're looking forward to become an entrepreneur or probably become an independent contributor to testing domain and practices, expert level certifications will help you there. So we got test improvement, test process, test management, and you know, different other certifications which you can look forward to, to make yourself more competitive at addressing an organization level support to the QA community. Most of the people who have got expert level uh, certified, they are independent, independent contributor like freelancers and helping organizations to build better trust process, better artifacts and doing better management of activities within the life cycle. So we generally call them as test consultant or test director for any organization, right? So you could have them on your payroll or you could have them in uh, kind of like an external visitor on a contract basis who can help you with, uh, you know, doing all the activities related to your application. Oh, sometime auditing as well with the process point of view. So if you're following TMMI or CMMI, these guys would be someone who will be taking care of that, right? So I think this is what the key concern of making this video was that many people, like thousands of people were asking, hey, is that like something I can take up any certificate anytime? So I thought I'll just make a video and help you understand about what exactly is the tree of ISTQB certification is and how exactly that can help you to build a better portfolio step by step. All right, so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep in this time in the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.